The Cheap Life Stretching, Saving, and Surviving with Kim Hello everybody, we've got a PVC pipe to wrap but if this were a steel pipe and we were outdoors wrapping it basically we're going to do it the same way in here as we would do it outside uh, but when you go outside to do this have all of your materials ready your approximate amounts you can fold if you're using such as plastics black tarp blue tarp old crummy tarps that are the pieces are pulling apart it doesn't matter what you use it can be cardboard wood you should use as many of these products as you can we're going to go from wrapping to working between bricks and how to actually you know get everything going there and how to do this is some of these uh, pipes you're gonna wrap uh, could be close to the ground or in the ground uh, if you're not below the frost level, which could be six inches or more, uh, you're going to want to wrap under your pipes if you can. You're going to want to really, really do a good job to insulate and block out Mr. Winter. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I have a black shopping bag, bad color, but on the light uh, opaque plastic, it should come out fairly well. Here we go. We got a PVC pipe. Let's just use our imaginations this is just a pipe uh, so what we want to do is we may have to use strips of plastic and if we do we're going to have to fold them over and make them into tougher pieces of plastic and i'll show you here so what we have is a strip of plastic it's this plastic bag it's a shopping bag and it's fairly tough but what we should do is at least crumple it up you know twist it if we want then we can use it to tie things off with and we'll do that here shortly as soon as we start wrapping this pipe so let's begin first of all we want to use whatever insulative materials don't worry if it's pouring rain just get them and get them on there as fast as you can don't get panicked don't get frustrated when you're what you can do with pieces of cardboard is wrap them in plastic if you have to if it's raining um a lot of snow or things like that that way you already have your cardboard insulated it won't get too wet um and you'll be able to put it on with the plastic around it but what you should do first is soften it that way it will go around your pipe so press it out go lengthways on it unless you have a corner which in which case you're going to have to probably cut it fit it around corners in corners and so forth you could also stick pieces you know in that corner just pack them in but with something like this i'm going to use regular blue duct tape but i would suggest silver or even Gorilla Tape. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of tape. And I'll show you from one side, but you'd actually want to work from your underneath side first. Always work the underside first. So if you're going to do two pieces of cardboard around a pipe, you might want to tape them together or attach them. Attach the bag, unless they're inside a bag, then you can just kind of fit it and, you know, put them on and around while the bag is... Uh, they're contained in the bag. So what we're going to do is we're going to put your tape on, kind of start this way, start as close to you as possible, unless you like reaching out and getting the farthest away from you done first, which I usually do, especially if it's uh, quite a stretch. So what we'll do is we'll take and Trust our tape is going to stay on. Okay, and prepare our other piece here. Okay. So, put that piece on. Put this piece on. Go underneath one side or the other, but make sure when you put these on, these pieces are meeting. You want to make sure they meet. So what you can do is kind of just set them like this on this side. 
good as if I can get him to go here. There we go. Kind of squeeze, and if you can see your cardboard from this side is sticking out over the edge, then you can easily just press with your finger, hold, hold with your thumb, bring the cardboard over, and if it doesn't work the first time getting everything tight, don't worry, unless you just don't have a big supply of tape, then you want to stress out. But you can do it kind of like this. And this is kind of awkward when it's not outside and it's kind of at an angle. But we'll get through it. So I'm just going to attach this a little bit, kind of make this a little easier. So what we want to do... Okay, so go down here to this other end. Make sure you start your tape so you have a little piece hanging out. Now you can see how it'll get a little bit easier. The top is taped up, and now we can kind of grab it, hold it, get your tape going, and, and push, push it down, and bring it around. Try to get it attached to the other piece below. Now, when you're doing tape, it can be pretty awkward if you don't pull this roll properly. You're going to have a little bit of a problem trying to get the tape. It'll get all messy and everything. So what you want to do is let the roll turn, basically. Turning in your hand. And pull it. And when you go around, give it a tug. Tug it. Tug the tape. So get, keep that pressure going on the end of the tape and it'll just be like a easy operation. Now we have to work our top end here. And we could actually break these. You just always have to get stuff started unless you're outside with pipes and then you actually have to figure it out. But you, you finally, after a while doing pipes a couple of times, you kind of get the hang of it and you know what to do, when to do it. So it just takes, it does take a little practice. But anybody can do it. Remember, keep that pressure on it. Oops, our tape is tearing on us. Got to get it started again. If I can. That's what we always think when we're doing pipes and things, if I carry on. Okay, you can go underneath, too. So bring it around. Wrap it. Remember, pull. Just give it a good tug. Let that tape heal you. And there we go. Okay. Now sometimes you do have to attach tape or something to hold your product in place. Uh, just to keep it so you still enough so you it's not going to be moving around and shifting and you're fighting it while you're trying to grab tape or clamps whatever you have decided to use okay so we got a piece of cardboard on there that's a really good insulation material you could actually tape on wood next if you want but I wouldn't suggest it until you have enough stuffing or, if you did it like this, cardboard, maybe some plastic, and then pieces of wood, you know, um, I would really waterproof insulate doing this. And what that means is, I could take a plastic shopping bag, but this isn't going to be enough. Plastic shopping bags are good for waterproofing. It's good for holding back the water and keeping your materials uh a little dry unless you're working in rain then they will probably get saturated okay so we'll, we're just gonna assume we're not working in rain or snow and cut that handle mm, just like that okay so what we can do is we could so I'm going to show you the reverse of how some of us do it we'll start here we'll wrap and we'll 
push first and then we'll swing it under, but that depends on how high up the pipe is off the ground or off of bricks, concrete, whether it's erect straight up and down or it's laying horizontally along the ground. Okay, so let's say this is along the ground. So let's assume you can't get your hand under there. You could get a piece of plastic. Oh boy, if you could only get your hand under there, get a piece of plastic under there, get your materials under there, your fingers are just too fat. Now you pull off a piece of tape. Don't do it too long unless you have a really, really long distance. Now what you want to do is I want to take something like a straw. We're going to just use a straw as an example. So a chopstick, a straw, anything. And what you're going to do is you're going to have to probably, you know, make this a couple inches up on your straw. But anyway, you can secure it like this. And if you think you're going to get stuck to whatever's underneath, then you might want to kind of fold that tape over a little bit like that so you can kind of not have heavy duty problems so all right so before you go all the way under that pipe make sure this tape is flat it's laying out and you can actually grab it on one side after you've you've done what you had to do so what you want to do is you're going to pull this under your pipe so put it where you can start the plastic or under here and have another object where you can slide the plastic under. You don't want to poke too many holes in it. Now, we're going to work from this side over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to slide it under your pipe and basically pull it out the other side. Now, this could be kind of complicated, but for right now, we'll just go with what we're doing. So, you're going to have wrinkles, and if it goes like, if it folds, it could be complicated trying to straighten it out. So, you want to kind of, when you're on the one side of it, you're kind of smoothing it out. You go along the piece of plastic and try to keep those wrinkles and folds out of it as you go. Okay, so, we've got our... Plastic already. We're waterproofing, but it's not true waterproofing. Okay, start somewhere on it. So the further down toward the ground you go, the less room you're going to have to work with. So you always want to try to get it on top or just a little over the side. Tape ready. Noon like this and then do a tuck just tuck it with your fingers okay let's finish these up so you run your tape around and straighten that out oops okay now if you have room to go under Tape that stuff on. You're going to use electrician's tape. You're going to use duct tape. You can use this tape, but you have to make sure everything's covered in the end, and you most likely will. Okay, and don't forget, you've got your straw or chopsticks, just a regular stick out of a tree that won't break, hopefully. All right, so we've got cardboard on and then plastic to kind of protect it. And now we're going to go with, if you have foam, uh, pillow stuffing. Um, shirts aren't necessarily going to work. You could use wall insulation, the pink stuff, as long as it's contained in bags and so forth. So it doesn't get all over. And if vermin get in, such as mice or rats, chipmunks, squirrels, you name it, they won't be taking the stuff out a hole and leaving you with nothing. So you really want to secure your pipes. Okay, so on to tarping. So what we've got is a huge piece of tarp for the amount of pipes we're going to tarp. 
And this is what you really should do is figure about how much pipe you've got. So lay that tarp over, work it under, meet them up. <coughs> Excuse me, and this is a good starting point. So hold your tarp. Hold that tarp and fold it all the way across. Fold it, fold it, fold. Now what you want to do is fold this again and again until you get to the end. And we're going to have three, four, maybe five layers of plastic. Now before you put this on or even after, as long as you cover it with more tarp, you can insert dry straw or even wet, wool blankets on top. You can do a lot of things to block the cold and the destructive elements. Okay, so I'll show you what I actually have here and they will work. It is a little off though. So I'll try to do that a little better. I'll take that a second. Just make sure you got your pieces folded well and if you're going to add more on top of you know where you kind of mess up and don't have enough on there it's okay so we have enough we can meet edge to edge and a little overlapping get our tape out we're going to throw one piece on And it doesn't always have to be perfect. So we're we're overlapping just like this. Just so you can get a good shot of that. Okay, and you're gonna start. And start I'd say a third of your pipe or somewhere Halfway, when you go about halfway, it's it depends on the angle of your pipe and so forth. It may be a little tough to get a good start on this stuff. You may have to block it up, use ropes, glue, not. Okay, so here we go. We're finishing up this pipe. Okay, we do have enough to get over that edge. So to start it and go three, four inches away from this edge. So come out over here, start over here, a couple inches at least. So you have a good, so it sticks really, really well. And then fold it and my pipe will not sit still. Give it the tension, remember, and pull it. And you can put that tape in that tape anywhere you choose. The more air you can seal out, the better off your pipes are going to be. Hold your plastic in. Make sure you secure it with one hand or the other. And there, like that. Okay, now we're going to use a piece of plastic to tie our product to the, t to the uh, pipe. What you want to do is make sure you get it all taut. Kind of just spin that stuff in your hand, twist it, then bring it up. You can even go over double if you want to. So you'd want to start at the bottom, bring it up. Basically, you're doubling it. Okay, so go in on the right side. Then bring your other strap or piece of rope plastic and go under. So you double tied. Stretch it out and then make a knot in it.
and tie it off. And you've tied your product on. So it's basically like, like tying shoelaces and pretty simple. Okay, so what we want to do is let's say we are up off of the ground and we have supported our pipe as we should with bricks. So we have space underneath. And what we want to do is to we have to wrap our pipe and then we have to, to to protect it. We have to actually get more stuffing. We have to stuff materials under the entire length that we've wrapped. And the materials and start going under the pipe. Bring them up to your bricks. Just start really packing it in. Just pack it. Pack. And you want to go above and over. You want to really pack. You can wrap. Stick it in. And by the time you're done, what you want is three to six inches of packing. A total of three to six inches. And the way that I've done this for years, and I've done insulating pipes like this for years, is I'll get it so thick and so packed that you can't really push through the materials down to your pipe. So this scenario, for example, let's say you've built a, a cover out of wood and it's all secured here and it's not going to fall over. Mine's supported by bricks. And how do you handle this? You go in and you wrap the pipes the best you can. If they do move up and down, don't force them. And anytime you have pipe like this, whether it's metal, PVC, anything, no matter whether it's a connection like a hose or uh, where the handle for the faucet turns on and off, do not put pressure on top of the pipes. Don't force the pipes, whatever you do. Uh, that can lead to cracking, minor cracks, which can lead to bigger ones down the road. And then it's a major expense if you have to call a plumber because you don't know what you're doing yet. Okay, so with something like this, this scenario, wrap your pipe. Just go ahead and wrap it. Do the very best that you can. And what you want to do is you want to insulate. Get it underneath the pipe. So you want to come out. Basically, you want that stuff to be under the pipe so shove it under there shove lots of it until it packs to where you can't do anything you can't push it you can't move that plastic at all I'm using uh, plastic for as an example and you want to just pack it in and pack it in and pack it in if you have to use a pair of scissors or a stick and you want to get this plastic over it. You want it packed in there all the way around. As much as you can get underneath to in the sides, pack it in there. And having the tarps, plastic, cardboard, straw, whatever you have to do to get insulation in there at least three inches. Uh, the more packing you have, the better. And then when you're finished, Put a cover over it, or you can lay wood and make sure you secure them, but you want to make sure that this and this has a cover over top of it. You want to make sure you enclose your pipes in plastic or in uh, plywood, excuse me, and you want to make sure if you have plywood over the top, you don't want it to press on top of your pipe, so you do want... Want to make sure that your wood is secure, both sides, and then put your top on. And then you'll cover over with plastic when you have your top on it. Then you'll cover it over with plastic and lock out all the seams. All of the cold air will get in where it's not flush. You know, plywood is not... Uh, perfect there will be air gaps 
So cutting those out, especially when there's going to be Arctic blasts or anything, you want to make sure that you cover your box. If you have straw, you can set straw all the way down after you've packed underneath. And you can use dry straw or wet straw if you have to. Put some uh, straw underneath, cover it with a sheet of plastic over the top of it if you can, under that pipe. Um, bring the plastic up over, pack more uh, straw in and around. And you can also, instead of wood, you can use bales of straw going down the length of your pipe. Just don't open them up. Keep those cords on them. Just go down the length of your pipe. And then over top, put board. That way it'll support the weight of uh, the straw bales. Or undo the straw bales and put two, three squares that aren't going to be too heavy for the thickness of your wood. If you use quarter inch plywood, it's very thin and it's not going to take the weight that say a half inch piece of plywood or an inch plywood would take. So take that in consideration, especially with wet weather. Uh, if you don't cover it with a tarp, it will get, your wood will get rained on and then the weight of the water and the wetness of the bale will actually get heavier. The straw will get heavier. So take that into consideration. Try to do half inch plywood if you can. Uh, doubling your sheets of quarter inch may not work so well. It's a very thin, it's basically the most, one of the most fragile pieces of plywood for building or doing things that there is, especially when it comes to pipes and other hardware. Well, there you have it. I wish I could have gone outside to give you a better view, but this is the process and there you have it. Pipe insulation and what you need to do to protect your pipes from bursting and causing you to have problems. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button for more good videos.